Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam, also known as the Thrifty Daisy. You can find me on apps like Instagram, Poshmark, Macari, eBay, and most recently, Whatnot. I am here today with a little quick thrift haul for you guys. I have not been picking up much lately as if you have seen in my last video, I have been doing a lot of online shopping on the app Whatnot. But I can't resist walking into a thrift store and looking through the treasures to see what I can find. So I just wanted to film a video for you guys today and go over a few things that I have picked up and show you guys what I'm going to have available in my closet soon. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I want to start with are shoes since I have only a few pairs. The first pair of shoes that I have are these tan neutral colored flats. They are by Stuart Weitzman and they are in excellent condition. They are a size 10. So I thought that these would be great for anyone who works at like an office or uh, I know like the whole camel on camel look right now, neutral on neutral look is really in. So I thought that these would definitely complement an outfit like that. These next pair of shoes slash heels are from a brand that I have never picked up before. But when I looked up comps, they seem to be promising. And also they just look like they'd be great for the summer and like the upcoming festival season and stuff like that. They are from the brand J. Renee. They are in pretty great condition. They don't look like they've been worn maybe more than a handful of times, if that. They are a size 10, so maybe they were donated by the same person as the Stuart Weissman's, but um, they are just a strappy back heel with um, this like cork bottom and then this really cool pattern all throughout. And the last pair of shoes slash booties that I want to go over are these Fry boots that I found. They are in the color white with a stacked heel. It looks like they have not been worn maybe more than a handful of times. Um, these would be great for like upcoming festival season, concert season, just a lot of events that happen over the summer and then going into the fall. Um, this is the fry like symbol. That's what exactly what I saw, which caught my eye when they were on the rack and why I grabbed them. They are a size eight. So these are my size. They would go with one of the outfits that I have picked out for the Taylor Swift era's tour. So we'll see if they sell by then. Okay, so that was all I had for shoes. Now I'm just gonna go through my bag of items and I think I might have a purse in there, but I think everything else are thrifted clothing items. So let's get started. Just so you guys are aware, these are the Holly mailer bags that I use. I get them off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and put the link down below. But just so you know, this is how I also store my shoes. Now for items like the fry boots, I actually have them stored in two separate shoe, uh, bags. That's that. The first item is this Life is Good size extra large it says life is golden on front i thought that would be perfect for any kind of dog lover i know that there are like die hard life is good fans by the time this video goes up most of these things should be listed and then of course it has the life is good symbol right there the next thing that I have are these size 28 new with tags high rise shorts by Levi's. I apologize if you hear the cats yelling at each other. But yeah, so these are just denim cutoffs. Perfect shorts for summer. They go great with those fried boots. And yeah, they are definitely already listed. And if you want them, go grab them. The 
The next item are these American Eagle size large. I believe they're size large, yes. They are size large short alls, overalls, whatever you wanna call them. But these are back in season as like they are every summer. So if you see them, pick them up if you are a reseller. Um, I actually think that these ones have already sold, so I am going to be shipping them out. I think they sold yesterday. Today's Sunday, so I'm gonna be shipping them out tomorrow. But these are just a size large American Eagle short alls. I really liked the button details, and I liked just, they're just a classic pickup, you know? They're a classic staple piece to have in your closet. So this is just a little Coach Classic purse. Um, it actually was really dirty when I found it and I had to soak it like three times and in order for it to get clean, but it is nice and clean and smells nice and clean now too. The inside is like brand new. And it's the type of purse that's coming back in style, like the little micro purses. So I have a feeling that this will sell on Depop, but who knows? This I picked up because of the print. I'm a sucker for novelty prints. Um, it is by Loft and it is a size small. Not the best selling brand, but I know someone is going to love this print. And also it is a perfect lightweight piece for summer. It is sleeveless and the fabric content, it's 100% cotton. So it is very lightweight and just breathable and a really great material for summer. These caught my eye and I thought of festival season again or just summer overall. These are American Eagle yellow shorts. They are like a corduroy material and they are the super stretch. They are a size four. So they are in excellent condition, almost like they've never been worn. I am probably not gonna be able to show this the right way. So hopefully I can add in like a stock photo right here. But this is a bathing suit by Cupshe. It's actually really cool. Um, like once I finally was able to get it styled the right way, it's like a wrap top bathing suit, one piece. There is the back and it is a size medium. Here is the tag just for reference. This piece, I had no idea what it was worth until I looked up the comps. This is a vintage, I think it is called Halle Bob or Haley Bob. It is a size large. It says Paris, Los Angeles, so I don't know if that's where like they're based out of. Or... But it's really cool. This whole top, like the peak, everything on here is embroidered. The piece itself is like this brown velvet and then it has this really nice trim at the bottom. If this was in my size, I probably would keep it because I just really, really like the design of this piece. Okay, up next is something that I considered keeping for myself, but I used to have a dress like this and I don't think I wore it as often as I wanted to. And I'm actually trying to minimize my own personal closet right now, which kind of goes against everything that I bought off of whatnot last night. But anyways, I'm in the process of trying to minimize my own personal closet. So I actually have been doing a lot of like spring cleaning with my closet whenever I do laundry and I'm going to fold laundry. If it's something that, I mean, I don't know how it ended up in the laundry if I don't wear it that often, but if it's something that I'm not wearing that often or something that just takes up space, I'm just trying to donate it at this point. So yeah, with that being said, I wanted to pick this up for myself originally, but I decided that I'm going to resell it. And it is a dress by Vineyard Vines. It is in a size four. It's just a really cute dress for summer, casual tank style dress. And let me see if I can find the fabric content for you. It is 98% tensile and 2% spandex. So. 
it's a good material for summer and if you look closely i don't know if you'll be able to see this but the buttons have like this mother of pearl effect not sure if you can see that and lastly it has pockets this next piece did not have a tag in it or any kind of identification, but this is like a vintage style Mickey Mouse sweater. It is super soft and feels really comfy. The back is just a plain gray, but as you can see, it's like a knitted sweater. And like I said, it doesn't have any kind of tags or anything. The inside actually looks like this. So I thought that was kind of cool. Not that like, I don't think it's meant to be reversible, but if you wanted to reverse it. So yeah, like I said, it doesn't have any tags, um, but I did include measurements in the photos. I think I estimated it to be like a size small, possibly a size medium. This is a size small free people top. I was able to find the exact name of it, which I will hopefully put a stock photo in here somewhere. But I actually found this and I was pretty excited because I really like the pattern on it. Free people's more detailed pieces tend to do a little bit better for me rather than their plain stuff, except for their free people like athletic line, like free people movement. That's something I always pick up, um, but yeah. Free people detailed pieces tend to do better. Everyone should know by now what to look for when looking for free people. But I know that there is now a new free people label. I think it's just like block lettering that says free people in red and white. If I can find it, I'll put that right here. I've actually noticed a few different brands have been rebranding if that's what you would call it like free people getting a new label and then another one that i noticed yesterday was lucky brand i don't think it was a vintage label that i saw so i want to say lucky brand just like released a new label and it's kind of similar to free people's to where it's just like that block lettering so if i can find that i'll put that up right here I don't know if any of this means anything to any of you guys, but it helps me to know what the tags are looking for because sometimes in a thrift store, I don't even look at the item. I'm just looking for the brand. Um, it depends on what day it is and how much money I have to spend. So, <laughs> but anyways, this is a free people piece, size small, and I just thought it was really pretty and a great pickup. This next piece is just a black tee by Levi's. It is a size medium and it just says love more. I thought that this was just a really cute tee for the summer. I just thought that this would be a cute shirt paired with like denim cutoffs and Converse. Okay guys, we're getting close to the end. I'll do this one next. is from Torrid. It is a size six and it is this super cute flamingo sweater. Like I love the colors on this sweater. It is a Torrid size six flamingo sweater. The back is just plain and it is so comfy. It like almost feels like a blanket. Like if you wanted to just lounge around the house, you could just like wake up Sunday morning and just put this on and just hang out. Like, I don't know. This is such a comfy sweater and I hope it goes to a great home. This is the first time I have ever found this brand. It is Mara Hoffman. And I only know this brand because of watching other YouTubers. So shout out to everyone I'm subscribed to. But this is a size small. And it is 100% linen, so perfect piece for the summer, not to mention the vibes. It's totally like a resort wear piece. It does have pockets in the front and the back is just the same pattern. This could be worn as like a cover up if you were going to the pool or like the beach, or you could just wear it out in the summer on a perfect summer day because it is very lightweight, perfect material to keep you dry and nice and cool. 
And yeah, I was really excited when I picked up this piece because like I said, it was my first time. I recognized the brand when I saw it and then I saw that it was 100% linen, so I had to grab it. This brand, I don't think I've ever picked up before, although I've seen it a few times in the thrift store. It is the Impeccable Pig. This is a size small floral dress. I thought that this was perfect for spring. The button closure is right there, and overall, it's just a really cute dress. All right, last but not least. This was my first time finding this brand. At first, it looked just like a plain dress, but when I saw the collar and the neckline and those buttons, something told me to look a little bit further. And this is by the brand Everlane. I don't usually find this brand, so that is why I picked it up. And I just thought that, like I mentioned before, the whole like camel on camel neutral print theme that is going on right now, this is a size extra small. It looks a little bit bigger than that in my opinion, but what's my opinion matter? But yeah, I think it's actually a really cute like neutral dress. Um, it reminds me of Thanksgiving, if I'm being honest. Um, but I really like this neckline and I really like the sleeves. All right, guys, that is it for my thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new here, feel free to give the subscribe button a click. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.